and she laced up the middle, just hovered on the ground. Big Billy Andrews hit off her glove. That would have been an amazing play by her. Yeah, me and Billy Absolutely. did. Neither one of us wanted it to be there. <laughs> me and Billy. <laughs> Yeah, I think the biggest thing is is that we wanted to make it as exciting as we could and keep everybody <laughs> awake since it was so late tonight. Um, you know, just a really gritty effort from our team. I thought, uh, you know, Nebraska looked really good coming out. They seemed really prepped and, um, you know, we're all over some pitches. Maya Felder had a great day and, and hit the ball really hard. Uh, that first inning, I mean, that home run was was crushed. And, you know, I think we looked like we were afraid to, to lose the game a little bit. and. You know, you got to remember a little bit with our program, we've got some young people in the circle. And, you know, even though Lauren Howell is a junior, she hasn't had a lot of postseason experience. And, you know, there is definitely some jitters and, and, and definitely some nerves. So uh, just really proud of them and how they fought and, and never gave up and, you know, just kept chipping away, chipping away and just felt like, um, you know, we had some opportunity to take the momentum back in some different situations, and we did a good, a good job of taking that momentum back and, and never giving it back to them. So uh, really proud of Alex. Thought she pitched excellent. Zoe had some big hits. Sid's always our person that gets things rolling for us and, and had a, a real nice hit today. But, uh, you know, just really proud of the gritty effort. Uh, Zoe, so fifth inning, two outs, uh, and you hit the long single. Kind of take us through that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I'm not fast, so yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so my first pitch, I fouled it off. I was early, um, and Coach B kind of just told me to breathe, take a deep breath, and I think that's exactly what I did. I don't really remember much besides taking the deep breath. And then I was like, I got this. I just took my swing, and I knew kind of what I was looking for, and I got exactly what I was looking for. And just, I mean, trusted my my stuff, I guess. Became the newest member of the Off the Wall Singles Club. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Zoe and Sid, it was kind of, you know, it was rough for the offense there, the first four innings or so. What kind of kept you going, and, and what, what got you over the hump there? Um, I think just believing in each other. You know, practice has been pretty hard, especially for me hitting. And so just, like I said, having that belief that the next person, maybe if you don't do it, the next person's going to do it, or the next person, the next person. It took us a while, but I think we really stuck with our plan, and it finally paid off. <laughs> Zoe, what's the deal? What got the offense going there late in the game? Um, well, I think once Sid got on, and then Addie got on, and Lauren got on, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it for them. I mean, they did it, so why can't I, you know, kind of thing. And I knew if I got on, Lola was probably going to hit it hard somewhere and do something with the ball. And then that next inning, I think it was Sammy started it off, and then Taylor got the big hit, and then Burb came in, and she came in clutch. And it's just kind of like something clicked with us, and it was just, like Sid said, believing and trusting what prep we've put into this week, all season, and just kind of knowing who we are. Christy talked about a lot of young people haven't been in this situation before uh, in the circle. Take us through that last inning for you. What was going through your mind? Well, fortunately for me, I had been in this situation before with the OSU game here, actually. It felt like, I mean, the pressure felt the same, really. I was just trying to keep calm. Um, honestly, in that last inning, I have eight great people on the field, and Zoe in my ear telling me I can do it, Sid in my ear, Kristen in my ear, you know, at the with those people on the field, it's pretty hard to fail, you know? So, <laughs> like, I just, you know, believed in myself, believed in my defense, and got done. Uh, it was like two pop-ups, right? The ground ball to home, Sammy Hood made a nice play. Yeah, that was a really good play. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how, what, what, what was your view of that play? So, I think that was the plan. Um, Coach B had come out and talked to us about it, and she said, that that was what was going to happen, and it did. <laughs> so I think we were ready for it. Uh, Sid, why is Alex kind of a freshman who can, you know, that can compete like that in that kind of a situation? Yeah, it's really cool. You know, we've known all year that Alex is special, especially being a freshman, being the rookie of the year. I think us putting a lot of confidence in her gives her confidence in herself. So it's just really fun when you see her 
uplifted because she really throws well in those situations. Last couple of questions. I'm sorry, this is the last couple of questions. Oh, okay, uh, Christy, the two replays, those turn out to be both really, really important. Take us through those. Well, <laughs> the first one was an obvious mistake on the umpire's part. Um, I felt like he was out of position. I think the umpires are still working on that four-man rotation, and I don't think he got into position. To me, he was behind the play on the first base side, so seeing it from the back side of it instead of getting around the play. Um, I actually was surprised that he called her safe, um, so I, I felt like that was going to be a good challenge. The second was a banger. You know, it was it was close, but you know, with Addy being the one hustling down the line, you just knew he had to roll the dice on it. And to me, those were momentum killers for them and momentum boosters for us. I felt like as soon as um, you know they reversed the call for the play at home, we got right out of that inning, and they were you know scoring quite a bit at that point. And then that play with Addy, I think, just kind of solidified, OK, we're kind of rolling here. We're, things are kind of going in our favor. I think the biggest thing for that is you know, those two plays were huge. And I don't know if they were the spark that woke the bats up, but the bats became alive after um, some of those situations happened. And you know, I, I think I said it earlier on my uh, post-game interview. We haven't won a challenge all year, you know. I think we we probably tried 15 times at home in different games and haven't been in haven't been successful. So, um, you know, you kind of question whether or not you should do it. But I felt pretty confident that those were ones that would go in our favor. You said you've been in this situation before. What do you say, or how does how do you kind of come down off this high and get ready for tomorrow then? I I don't know if it's necessarily coming down off of it. I think it's just bringing it to the next game. We do best when we have that type of energy and we, we string together those hits with the energy. So I think just carrying that over tomorrow is going to be huge. Anything else from the front page? Okay, yeah. Um, All right. <laughs> you got some uh, questions? Yeah, I covered right. Nebraska. But yeah, um, <laughs> you, uh, well, you said uh, early on you were uh, playing to uh, not lose. I'm just wondering, how did that, what was that mental shift like? And how did you? get beyond that, but do you think that was a difference? Yeah, I think that was a huge difference. It's a great question. I think, you know, the biggest thing for us was trying to change the momentum. Nebraska had all the momentum. They looked great. I mean, you know, even to be 100% honest with you, we were really close with their staff. And so I was talking to Rhonda when they were reviewing that play at home. And I said to her, your team looks good. They look really prepared right now. And uh, she's always very gracious. But I felt like that play, as soon as that happened, OK, we're down 5 nothing. What are we going to do about it, right? Well, we got some momentum. Let's start making some things happen, putting the ball in play, putting it on the ground, you know, getting some clutch hits, things like that. I, you started to feel the difference. And you know, we've struggled. We've had three games in a row. And, and to be 100% honest with you, haven't looked ourselves offensively. We're a great offensive team. I think we've got a really great game plan. And I think we've just been putting so much pressure on ourselves to execute it that we finally needed to just take a break and, and let it happen a little bit. And you know, I teased Coach E that you know, if, if in the fifth inning I was going to take every bat out of the box and throw them out on the infield and tell them to wake up, you know, mm -hmm. because they've been asleep for a while. And so to me, it, it's just about opportunity. And once you get the monkey off your back a little bit, then you can start making some good things happen. And we, I hope, hopefully, we got the monkey off our back.